All right, this is going to be a quick video to show you what we started the year with here in art class. Um, my name is Mr. P, and I am the student's art teacher here at Pinkston Elementary. All right, here today we have wallets. I don't know if you are aware, but we started a new attendance program. Um, what happens is if the students are here every day without being late for a week, they get a Pinkston Elementary big buck okay now you can accumulate these things week after week and um, twice a year we're going to have a big top uh, show uh, more like a carnival though uh, where they get to spend these things on different activities we'll have stuff like um, face painting and uh, balloon animals and those are the couple of things that pop to the top of my head right now <laughs> it's lots of other but that I can't think of any more right now anyway um, since we're doing this, I was asked if we could make a wallet here in art class. So we came up with these, what you see here. Uh, we have a wallet for the girls, which is in front, and a wallet for the guys, which is over there on the right. I'm going to go through and show you right quick on how we put it together. All right. Okay, so either it's for the girls or for the guys, either one, it really doesn't matter. Um, the design is pretty much the same. They all start out making some kind of pattern or picture on the back of this sheet of paper. And, you know, you color it, make it all nice and pretty. And then we have it laminated to make sure that it stands the wear and tear for the whole year. After that, we take it and we have them fold it. I call it like a hot dog. <laughs> fold it the long way here in half. Once that happens, I made myself a template so that I can show them where they need to cut their wallets, to cut some pieces off and turn it into a wallet. What I do is I take it after they fold it, I put it inside of my template here, and I mark it with a Sharpie marker. Um, after I mark this area off, I give it back to them and I let them cut it out. They do a pretty good job for the most part uh, cutting it out, staying on the line. The tricky part is to let them know that, uh, well make sure they're aware that you don't just cut the one side, you cut both sides at the same time. That's the only tricky part in this particular assignment. Okay. And see, that one's gone. And really just two really simple cuts, you know. Cut it off. And it really doesn't take very long at all to do. Um, now once they finish, I tell them, hey, it looks like a big rocket ship. <laughs> just a little humor. They kind of like it. All right, after that, this rounded part becomes the flap. So you're going to fold it down like so and then you have the bottom part and what I like to do I like to tell them to take the bottom part and fold it up as far as that crease will let them go okay fold it up as far as that crease will let them go go ahead fold it back down and then I take stapler and I staple the sides for them like that and now the girls, of course, you're done. She opens it up. She puts her buck in, and she closes it back up. For the guys, you have one more step. You take this flap, which, you know, you really don't need for a guy. You take that, and you fold that inside like that. And so to close the guy's wallet, of course, here's the guy's wallet. You put the money in there. And to close the guy's wallet, you just take it and fold it closed. So to take another look at the finished product, um, you see that I added a um, Velcro dot. And um, that is just, you know, just to help with clothes. You really don't need it. I just thought that was a nice touch. Um, I wasn't able to supply these to all of the students, um, you know, to everybody in the school. Uh, but that they're, they're really something you can get easy at Walmart, um, a little Velcro dot. Uh, you have to send it to the school with the kid though. Um, 
they're not going to be able to take these home. Uh, their homeroom teacher should be holding them. Uh, it kind of it kind of just depends on the discretion of the, of the teacher whether they wanted them to be able to take them back back and forth home or not, or whether they wanted to keep them in the classroom and make sure that they don't lose these um, until well don't lose them at all and they have them for the big top shop was is pretty much the thinking on that. Um, so I mean, if you wanted something, wanted to get them the Velcro dot, you could. They're at Walmart. Should be somewhere in the um, sewing section, I think. Uh, you could find them for, I don't know, maybe three, three and a half, maybe four dollars with tax, and you get you'll get more than one set. You'll probably get about, I don't know, twelve, anywhere from twelve to twenty-four sets for that for that price. So they're very, very cheap. I just wasn't able to buy eight hundred of them <laughs> for everybody in the school. Uh, this, this would be how it works for the guys. You can put it on the inside like that so it stays closed for them. And, uh, you know, your big top book ends up going in there. And that's pretty much it. They had a good time making them. And uh, this is one of the first of many art projects that we will have here in art class at Pinson Elementary. And there you go. Mr. P signing off.